This is RFP Money Talks and I'm your host, Randall Johnson, where we discuss life and personal finance. We have here today Ms. Tally C, who is a professional mom and a wife to Pastor Denny C, raising two beautiful kids and pretty much um, in charge of what's going on in the C household financially and you know, raising up the kids at the same time, being able to support uh, a husband. Um, Tani, welcome to Money Talks. Hello, thanks for it's having me. It's really nice to have you here. I'm a professional it, <laughs> Well, really, you know, a lot of people have, you question, a lot of people have uh, changed, society has changed, and more, you know, those who are staying home with the house, which are becoming to be a rare, do you feel like that? Is it with everybody working out and stuff Rare like breed. Rare breed. But it's, a, it's something, do you recommend? My first question, sa mga marami career woman, do you recommend them to have a career or, you know, to stay at the house and, and raise the kids? Siyempre, biased ako, no? Uh-huh. <laughs> I really believe that iba eh, iba pag you stay at home. I read this book one time, Parenting by Proxy. Mm-hmm. Parang, it was encouraging wives to reassess, actually, like most of the working moms, they were feeling nila, okay, para additional income then for the household but yeah. they, sometimes they feel to to compute na syempre pag may trabaho ka you also have to consider bibili ka rin ng mas magandang damit yeah. tapos pang gas mo or magko-commute ka or dalawang kotse na maintain ninyo so, may, mga, um, may expe- expenses additional expenses then sometimes kung if you really compute na and and add those expenses you tapos titingnan mo yung versus the income that you're actually getting Konti na lang pala yung difference. So, whether you can ask yourself, is so, it worth it? So, cost efficiency and stuff like that? Kasi, oh, minsan kasi, hindi naman ganun kalaki pala yung difference na with all the... And I notice a lot of those, those three mga moms, since they're working, uh, and they're trying to... I mean, it's a very noble, you know, gesture. I mean, my wife, uh, for us, but like me, I think it's very helpful naman that your wife has a new outfit. There are other things, I mentioned it, I think one of those things that I'm, I was really... People should be able to compute yung tutoring and oh. mahal din siya, no? 5,000, 6,000 if they have like two, three kids. Lalo na ngayon, gusto na kahit bata pa lang, they send their kids to preschool. Uh-huh. And preschool costs, mas mahal pa sa grades sa elementary and high school. So you're saying, para nag-ating ng ano, never financial, para nag-ating ng money. Sige, kailangan pa lang. So, kung yan yan, let's say, uh, perhaps, so I have two kids and average cost ng sa bata is sa uh, Maybe a hundred in school for for everything, no? Dalawa sila two hundred. Maybe the other bahawan uh, transport, um, tutoring and stuff. Maybe it's, it's double it to four hundred thousand a month a year. So kung income mo ay four hundred na, ano kala? Na ubus lang din yung or less than or worse than ah. kung kailangan pa rin talaga. So it's really now. It's, it's, what book is that? Is that a book that you read? Parenting by proxy. Dr. Laura Shamsen. Mahirap yung ano niya eh. Parenting by proxy. I'm sure it's in your head no? So you're in class. So you're raising it. So you started off your, your, your role in the house is to be able to support your husband and to raise your two kids. Mm-hmm. So question. Financially, ano ba mga challenges? Being a stay-at-home mom. Kahit siguro hindi stay-at-home mom. Maraming moms or what's your financial challenges because you're really, you're really young and you know, separate from when people are young, you can't even know. Mm-hmm. What are the normal challenges? Siguro, like when we started off, kami ng husband ko, sobrang liit talaga nung income niya. Now we had, actually looking at it on paper, mm-hmm. had no idea paano kami mong survive, how we manage to pull it off. Pero I guess, that's where wisdom and faith comes in. Na, kasi, bali sa question mo, mga problems that we're facing, mga issues, usually it's really more on yung daily, parang operations ng household. Mm-hmm. Yung household, di ba, minsan when we think of, ano, pag so, managing the idea, home, idea na, lalo na pag young mom ka, yeah, yeah. That, and you see, sometimes you look up to women, like ako, I look up to a lot of women and they've been married for what, 20 plus years. And you have, when you enter marriage and you have this picture of how an ideal household looks like, mm-hmm. na dapat ganito, okay, yung itsura. <laughs> Oo, yung pagpasok mo ng bahay, para kakalipan ka pa lang, bagong kasal, gusto mo, made up na made up yung bahay mo. 
Tapos even yung yung lifestyle niyo, parang yung this idea na every week yung date niyo kung saan saan, yung ganon. So siguro more on expectations then you have to adjust your expectations. Oh, you did. You went through that. You went through that expectation. Oh, I I did. Like, very idealistic ako as a person eh. So parang gusto ko, ganyan, like sa kids, gusto mo lang ngayon with all the educational parang marketing na you have to, parang dapat, top of the line lahat. Infant pa lang, kung pwede lang paaralin na, gusto nila paaralin na. Okay. May all these educational toys, parang educational toys na napakamahal. But you as a mom, as a parent, gusto mo agad to provide, kasi feeling mo yun yung best. So, Siguro more on expectations eh. You doon ka nagkaka problema usually. Ay, hindi ko alam kung problema yung, yung tamang term. Or adjustment. Or uh -oh, that you have to make adjustments on your expectations. Kasi usually doon doon dumarating yung minsan yung arguments on money or discussions on money. Kasi you have certain expectations na we 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 have to be able to do this, to buy this, to provide this, ganyan. Hey, Pressure din ba kami yung like where, how you were stuck or how you were hospitals raised up, yung mga ganun eh. Of course, you know, coming from um, having parents or professionals or businessmen, probably provided well for you guys. So when you started as a, as a wife, the pressure by inside. Oh, I remember yung my grandfather that time, the first question he asked my husband nung nag-meet sila, magkano siya ito mo? Yun yung una yung tanong. Yun yung concern. And, Tas pareho kami ng Chinese, eh. okay. and both our parents were pressuring us. They were pressuring me to do business, na kasi I was supposed to go into medicine, so it was all planned out na na magkakakarir ako. And all of a sudden, I shifted gears. Biglang sa bahay ka lang. Ano ka gawin mo? Ano ay magubuhay, na ba? Tapos ni naman high income yung sa husband ko talaga job. So ano yung pressure din na for sila din minsan parents, syempre, they want the best for us. Gusto nila na secure din yung magiging anak nila. And sometimes, they communicate it in a way na, alam mo naman, concerned lang sila. Pero, somehow, they're pressuring <laughs> you to do things na, minsan, you know that you're not really called to do na. Kasi ako, alam ko, hindi na ako. Nakaset na ako na, I'm going to stay with my kids and watch them grow and, and shepherd them as they grow. Uh, how were you able to Tips. I know a lot of uh, wives and moms here who can really relate with you. I think this is good about it because they can really relate. How are you able to? Because I've been to your house now. It looks like it's from the magazine. It looks like you're living there. Malit lang kasi kaya. But you know, it's, it's, it's there. But you know, I mean, considering you haven't been married for that long, but you're living the life now. But how are you able to transition or adjust a lot and maintain your sanity? Sanity. Ah, siguro una. Very important is communication. Husband and wife, you have to know na, like ako, hindi lang, I'm not deciding for myself anymore. And it's very important na clear sa atin dalawa, same page kami on how we do our budgeting, ano yung priorities mo as a family, ano yung what things do we value? Is it education? Is it building memories? Kung vacation, you set aside for vacation. Yeah, it has to be clear sa inyong dalawang mag-asawa kung ano yung importante. Even with the kids, they know what's important. Na minsan they, they ask, the ano yung priority sa family na to? Diba? Priority ba na yung savings? Priority ba natin yung giving? So kung may extra ka din, alam mo din sa mga pupunta. Kasi tendency for couples is, kung sanay ka may certain budget, and then all of a sudden your husband gets a raise or like extra money comes in. Bigla matataranta kayo eh. Ah, pwede natin itong gasos eh. Pwede natin taasan na yung, yung lifestyle natin, di ba? Kasi walang clear communication. So very important, umpisa pa lang, clear sa inyong mag-asawa, what are the things that we value in our household? Wow. Yeah, so, from there, mabilis na mag-tweak eh. Yeah. Get down, tawa nga, parang cut you, because it's so interesting when you get back, when you talk about, you know, the practical steps, the budgeting, and you know, we will go through these things and I know a lot of people can really learn from you. So when we get back, we're going to get back with um, Tam C on having, you know, mommy finance, running the household and being a great wife and a great mom and still...